Mooney. He's the bad one. I'm the good one. I wouldn't say Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And today we do have a new, brand new Atari game. It is Orbital War from Leandro Cameron. Mm. And um, we'll be playing it today along with a, a brand, another brand new game, uh, Refractor, and also Boom, an update to Boom. Mm. So uh, welcome to the show. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers uh, scrolling next to Darcy there. Arkham Age, Arms Guard, Coder, Atari 8800, XL Rules, Atari 1974, Atari Atari's Maximus, BR Pocock, Buck Owens, Burl Ives, Ch Chelsea Donnie Mao, Charles and Checks, Charles Wheel and Cor Colonel Lama, Dionoid, Daryl 1970, Dr. Mukas, Fox Mulder, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Roger Rapper, Johnny and Nitro, Johnny WC, Kabuto JRM, uh, Carl G. Ken Jennings, Invader, Kev Kelly, Croco 2600, Lauren TDZ, Marco Yanis, Mark Basic, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Latow, Miss Command, MK Swift, Mr. Bzarna, Woob, Mr. Fix, Mighty Fonster, Nathan Storm, Nostalgic Pack, Rabbit, VG Quag RC70. Uh, R. Anschwitz rendered Ghost, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Rod Castler, Six Sweets, Spitty B, Spice Warriors, Ramirez, The D Train, Welshman, T. Dan K, Team Events, Trek MD, X, Ken X. And if you want to support the show, just click subscribe. It's free if you have Amazon Prime. Just link them together. And uh, just like uh, Drexel did right before the show. Mm -hmm. And also Alna Firth. Thank you both to both of you. Thank you, Darcy. <laughs> Yay! He is the champion. Um, Cat car. Nope. Don't nuts in my mouth. <laughs> Hello to Brazil. Yes, we have a Brazilian uh, uh, representation today in the house because the first game is made by a Brazilian. Orbital War. Um, next Tuesday, or this coming Tuesday, uh, we have the exclusive... Uh, world premiere of two Jaguar games. This is the first time we'll be ah. premiering Jaguar games. Uh, we'll be preparing the Jaguar releases of Chaos Engine and Gods, uh, ported by Serrano J from uh, the original Bitmap Brothers games. Um, and after the show today, we will also be continuing our countdown for the Atari 2600 45th anniversary uh, where we're going to be playing every single Atari 2600 game ever released. For the, the 50th anniversary, you're going to play each of them twice? Yes. We're going to double it up. Uh, no. <laughs> this is a one-time deal. <laughs> they can go watch it again and just play it twice. Um, so today we'll be playing games from 1980, uh, which includes Space Invader and Space Invaders. Um, and boxing and adventure, amongst uh, many other ones. And I have most of the cartridges for them, so we'll be playing them on cartridge. Because um, on Tuesday, we played 1977 through 1979. And... There just weren't that many of them? Not too many, and I grouped them all together to make a big show to start it off with. There was about 31, and today we have 18? 20? Something, or, uh, something like that. Um, and we do it for five minutes each, not ten minutes, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about the Yeah, for 50th. the 50th, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a ton of fun. And it was good to play some games that I had actually never played before on the uh, 2600. And it'll be the same for today. Some, of, Most of these I've had, I have played. And it'll be um, more progressively of more games that I have played. Do not play with him with your hands. Take it away, take it away. Hands are not toys, are they? No. Bad cats. Um, so let's get into the news. Uh, Apparently legs are to be savaged. Oh, no. No, none of that. None of that. <laughs> Let me get it on the right monitor here. Oh, I think I've got My it. My leg's too big for him to get a good bite on. <laughs> Biting. Bad cat. Um... The new releases from Atari Age have been announced for Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Uh, these are games that are going to be released on cartridge and box. Uh, there are quite a few. Yeah. Like a massive amount. So for the 2600, uh, Blocks, Gorf Arcade, Grizzards, Load Runner, Uzi the Goo, Slime Quest, Raptor, Ruby Q, Stratovox, Vroom. Um, also... Kicks and the re release of Boulder Dash. Uh, and for the 5200, 
AWA Anthology and Robin Banks. And AWA Anthology is also coming out for Atari 8 bit. Uh, for the 7800 2048 Attack of the Petsky Robots EXO Galaxian Arcade Keystone Coppers Pac Man Collection 40th Anniversary Slide Boy Maze Land Uniwar S and Popeye. And also for what? the Jaguar Did you Gods say and Popeye. And and Popeye down there. Oh, here. I see you down there, yeah. Yeah, he's added those at the bottom. Because those are coming out before PRG, but they'll also be at PRG. Uh, so, Gods and Chaos Engine, which we're doing the world premiere on Tuesday for. Nice. Um, yeah, so pff, tons, tons. So, get your wallets warmed up <laughs> <laughs> for that one. Uh, I forgot, I never released my Don't Go 2600 game. He's warming up the wallet. Up the wall. I'm like, I can't see what's in your hands. He's warming up his wallet. Um, and also, Albert put out a call for demos. So if your game is in progress and you feel it's ready for demonstration, he's going to have a ton of systems set up ah, at the Atari, cool. Atari Age booth. So you can play upcoming games, not just the released ones, but upcoming games as well. Uh, what he does is usually burns them onto like a temporary cart, even like the demos, and puts them. He's got like a ton of displays. So he I'm says, just I plan sure on. not eating cables. No, he's fine. He likes plastic. I plan on having over 30 Atari 2600, 5200, 7800 Jaguar and Atari 8 bit computer systems at this year's Portland Retro wow. Gaming Expo. Well, I'll be using most of these systems to showcase new games. I also want to make, uh, make some available to showcase upcoming games that aren't quite finished, but far enough along they can be demoed at the show. If you've been working on a new game for any of the above systems and you'd like to have it enjoyed, some at free a new games. Some. There's new and pre-new. Pre-new. <laughs> yep. Pre-new. Not quite new. Uh, work in progresses. Uh, attended by ten, some 10,000 retro gamers. Send a private message. Um, also, for Atari Age, uh, because we didn't have a show on Tuesday, so there's lots of news. Um, for the people in the UK, uh, who are now under different shipping rules, mm. um, since something happened, Good news, my VAT registration has been approved. Once I get the details, and I, I can update the Atari Age store to accept orders from the UK again, because UK orders have been shut down for a while, because they now need tons of paperwork to sign up as a seller, mm. because you have to add tax to them, and it's different rules now. So uh, the Atari Age store is almost ready to go for UK people to buy again. Uh, if you are buying a ton of stuff, and I think it's $200 US or more, you can do that right now. Just message Albert. I think he's got something set up for that. But if it's just like one or two games or a couple games, um, you, you will have to wait a little bit, but it's soon. Um, some hardware news. Um, six button Sega controller support coming soon for the Atari 7800, which is awesome because mm -hmm. they're readily available and tons of buttons to play games with. Fi uh, this is from Retro HQ. Finally grabbed a couple hours to put the Mega 7800 together, and I'm pleased it's working perfectly. This is Mega Drive wired plus wireless pad support for the 7800, so even wireless support. Next, I'll be adding six button support for the 7800 Game Drive, which is a new multi uh, multi -cart. cart SD based multi cart for the 7800, mm -hmm. which will add to the concerto and the dragonfly for modern uh, SD multi carts and potential homebrew support. So, this is great news, and uh, hopefully, we'll be able to show this off on the show very shortly after he's done it. Uh, Meaty Spag says Street Fighter 2 for the 7800. When? <laughs> you know, people have made fighting games for the 2600, so I can see that happening, especially with but, uh, six button support. That's a good possibility. Um, so I think that. Oh, no, I missed one actually. One second. Let me get that one up on the screen. Uh, one second. I'll move that one over. Loading, loading. There we go. Um, so somebody asked uh, Arberios about 
the movie cart, which we debuted on the show showing Star Wars. Thank you, Dan ABC, for resubscribing. 25 months. Wow. It's amazing. Over two years he's been subscribing for. Um, somebody asked Arbarius about his movie cart, which we premiered on the stream, uh, playing Star Wars, the first full-length movie on it, an Atari 2600. It's bizarre concept, but it happened. Um, he has been working on improving and optimizing it. Um, the like the codec for it, the compression for it, um, the look of it, and it is improved. Um, believably unbelievably so he's working on been working on version 2 off and on over the past couple months i've had to go with smd parts on the end so i learned about stencils drag soldering it wasn't as horrifying as i'd imagine the end result is probably half the part in costs uh no obsolete parts and looks like no mods will be necessary um still 2600 and flashback 2 compatible uh oh why Oh, there was a picture of it there. It's gone now, and it's been replaced with a uh, little stop sign. Let's reload it and see if that gets drape off. see if that gets any better. Mm. So his Google user content. Try enlarging it. No, no, just doesn't even make it. Does it make it bigger? No, it doesn't even make the stop sign bigger. So no. Um, Okay, he wrote the rewrote the firmware from scratch, so the boot time is much faster. Two milliseconds, if I recall, so no more repeated cycling the power switch with bated breath because we had to turn it off and on a bunch of times to get the right timing. Because, mm. uh, like, the 2600 started going before the cart was ready. Oh, yeah. Something like that. Another major improvement is you can just drag and drop the movie file directly onto the SD card. Um, and my goal is here to add some tab holes on the PCB then likely I'll put everything up on open source again. If somebody wants to build and sell them, that would be ideal. I'm hoping after these modifications, it will be a much more straightforward process. From there, I can concentrate on more software changes like PAL settings, etc. So there, there was a picture of a cartridge in an Atari 2600 there, and it was like a bare board, so you could see the PCB. Uh, but it is there no more. Maybe he'll repost it later. Uh, so... On to the games, and we're going to be playing Orbital War first. That sounds fun. Yes. The name sounds fun. It Let's is. see if it lives up to the name. <laughs> Space shooting. Space shooting. So let's take a look first at uh, some of the packaging, because it is being sold right now. Uh, Pre-sales. <coughs> Are you handling that cat roughly? Yep. Just yep. like he likes it. <laughs> he likes it rough. <laughs> um, so here's some pictures of the uh, final box and the accoutrement of the uh, game called Orbital War. Atari 2600. War uh, it's an 8K game. There's the cartridge sideways. Uh, it actually comes with a fold-out poster oh, cool. to keep track of your progress in the game. You can play it without the poster uh or the board like you call the board uh, a board game board mm -hmm. um even though it's a video game there's a cartridge in there uh very nice box um yeah it is um there it is being opened what's he doing bad cats those scissors were obviously used to cut the cord on that uh <laughs> yes controller. i think so i think somebody got it a little he's got a wireless uh Atari controller. It's it's wireless but non-functional wireless. He might have made it wireless. He made it wireless. Yeah. There is no cord on it though. Uh, there's all the pieces. As you can see that's the uh, game board. Has anyone made a wireless uh, Atari controller? They actually originally came out with a, a wireless Atari controller. Um, it had a little like an antenna on it, mm -hmm. and it had the receiver that you plugged into the Atari. It was a bit too powerful. Started interfering with garage doors. Ooh, I and, want it now. Uh, <laughs> so the moment you said it was a bit too powerful, I was like, "Ooh, zap, zap!" <laughs> uh, Ivory Tower Collection says I have a pair of them. It kind of worked. <laughs> yeah, uh, they're not super like sought after because you they can don't... make one now, though. Yes. Um, yeah, and and you can actually use. It would have to be completely separate from the Atari. The Atari wouldn't control yeah. it, but it could control itself. There, there are 
aftermarket wireless ones because Genesis controllers made wireless and you can use those, I believe. Uh, yeah, I guess so, so there's modern equivalents for that. I have them, but I haven't used them. Okay, he's playing with um, something that's small enough to possibly swallow. Bad cat. Does it say bad cat? Yeah, it should say bad cat on it. Oh, oh we're playing 2600 games today. Hooray. Uh, yeah, very nice box. Uh, comes with little pieces. A guy looks like he's playing the game. A top secret package. Um, and here's some close-ups of those board pieces. Some more close-ups. Part of the Raw War series. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if there's going to be some more coming. There's the back of the box. And that's uh, box number one. Okay, cat. Calm it. If anybody would like to give the cats treats, they may calm down. <laughs> uh, some other shots of it. Some more shots. And uh, Leandro sent this to me. This is his sketch, his initial sketch of the game. Ah, that's cool. Back in uh, 2020, uh, August 4th, you can see at the top. Um, there's the moon, astronaut. Yum, yum, this yum, is yum, all in Portuguese. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> oh, it's treat time. Who fed the cat's treats? It's Alan the Fern. You have two, do you put both? We do. Oh. They are now both trained. And here you go. You put those out. To do... Uh, you have three bells. To do the cat. Do I participate? Um, uh, yeah, you could if you like cat treats. Well, let's just see you have three bells. Oh, who did is that? that? You? I missed it. Which one did it? I don't know. Should we act as though they did it? I think it was Sprite. Yeah. Just give them both one. Oh, Atari did it. Oh, Sprite. That's unearned. <laughs> oh, do they not? There. <laughs> so only he gets one? Yes. Oh. Yeah. They have to ring it separately. They have to both. They have to earn it. Ring it. Good ring it. kitty. Good kitty. <laughs> See? That's awesome, isn't it? It's the cutest thing ever. It was Sprite. Oh, now I don't know who to believe. <laughs> Sprite learned it so fast. It's the greatest fast. thing ever. <laughs> isn't, it? isn't it so good? <laughs> this all stems from a video I saw. Okay. A couple more, not too many on the internet of two cats sitting at a, a table oh. and they both had bells <laughs> and they were fed little pieces and okay. I'm like, oh my God, that's so cute. And I thought, oh, I wonder if we can, who's gonna do it? Who's gonna do it? You know what? They're both gonna get it the next time someone rings it. Okay, just to finish it off. Yeah. Good kitties and take the bells away. <laughs> that's the important part. Oh, so cute. Oh my God, so cute. Okay, so let's um, get into it. We have a... Okay, you cats are both awesome, by the way. That was, that was amazing. <laughs> Exclusive world premiere. Okay, let's fire up the 2600. Atari was first. Oh, okay, we have confirmation. Atari, he could, I couldn't do the first thing. Sprite was going under the dummy. Uh, okay, some confusion. Who rang it first? So let's switch over to the game. So this. Thank you for following somebody. I can't see it yet. How long that tail is? Yeah. How long that tail is? It's. BL BL six one four six one four. Thank you for following and enjoying the show. So we have a uh, interview as well from Leandro. Yep. Over a war. Over a war. Ooh. So you can play right away, but um, so you can uh, fiddle around while I read the instructions. <laughs> Uh, so the intro is the year 2073 AD. We are in war. Peace on planet Earth has never been human strong point. <clears throat> For thousands of years, men have <clears throat> fought baseless battles to prove their superiority over their fellow men. 
diplomatic agreements were proposed by the nations involved in the conflict without any effective result. As an emergency measure, the battle I don't has been. What I know. We haven't read the instructions. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to keep trying to blow stuff up. Okay. As an emergency measure, the battle has been moved off planet Earth into Earth orbit. It's not coach compliant. No, it's not. But the enemy army army insists on bombing Earth's soil. Armed with ballistic missiles and heavy artillery, now it's up to you to restore order and peace on the planet again. You should listen to the instructions. Otherwise, I'm going to have to explain them all over again no. to you. <laughs> okay. E uh, restore peace on the planet again, even if you need to aggressively fight your opponent to do so. Prepare the attack. Fire. You can command heavy artillery sights and ballistic missile launches launch bases in the following ways. Yes, couch compliance is missing. You cannot restart the game. As far as I know. There is a second joystick. We'll see. Um, joystick one. Hey, stop playing. Stop playing. No. Nope. Stop playing. No, you said Listen I could. The instructions. You said I could nope. Oh, you're so mean. <laughs> uh, there's multiple ways you can play. Um... You can command heavy artillery sights, which is the crosshairs, and the ballistic missile launch bases in the following ways. And uh, do that by that, up and press a button. So you're trying to hit that thing at the top. Ah. Uh, use the left joystick, which you're using, to move the aim. Keep the direction pressed to go up or down in the orbits. So you can go down or up mm -hmm. in the orbits. Uh, that part out and fire the heavy artillery shots with the button. Joystick 2 for the second player, use the right joystick to place ballistic missiles on Earth's surface. So you can move the ballistic missiles ah, I see. with the second joystick. Uh, use the right joystick, place ballistic missiles on Earth's surface, keep the rod pressed to obtain position, and then fire them with the button. Well, that's much faster. Um, attention, if you choose to play alone, you can also use joystick one left to position the missiles. Joystick down with the aim position to the one of the four pointer markers on the radar. Let's see. How do you do that? I did move it for a second there. Yeah, you push up to go, but it doesn't always go up, I think. Oh, I see. You go down. There. So you can, if you press down over top, do you have to be perfect? To do what? What are you trying to do? See the missiles at the bottom? Yeah. I go over this one, mm -hmm. it moves. I go over this one and press down, it moves uh, there. Go over the middle. Oh, it did move to the middle. How do you get to the middle again? It was in the middle for a second. Okay, so you have to be right over top of it. You can't be near it. To move it to that missile position and then it's but don't shoot the gray one no nope. when you shoot it that's your friend that's a that's satellite your friend yeah he kind of gets in the way well okay. it is don't play it's yet. the world when you blow it up the world explodes i think that's the iss uh, you don't want to blow that up uh, attention if you play alone uh, you can use the joystick one left to position the missiles joystick down with the aim position of one of the four markers marked on the radar uh in the lowest orbit and fire them Press up and the button aimed, uh, and yeah, so you press up and the button to fire it. But you can't seemingly get it back to the middle though. You can get it to the one of the four, which is fine. Your objective is to destroy 10 shuttles in each battle scenario, 10 of those shuttles at the top, to advance the next wave, and score as many points as possible in the game by going as far as possible in the mission, defeating the enemy. The rightmost digit on the score indicates the number of shuttles hit in each wave. So we've got 300, which means zero. Uh, for that, you have unlimited missiles that can be fired. Why does it mean zero? Sorry? Oh, it said the rightmost digit oh, oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, shows how many that you've destroyed. Um, for that, you have unlimited missiles that could be fired from the five positions on the planet with three different speeds according to the lo location of the launch bases on the Earth's continents. Mm. Oh, so each of those continents have different... Launch, launch speeds. speeds. That's why one was fast. Okay. 
It yeah, also changes where your uh, gun shoots. Yeah, you're kind of uh, doing two things at once. Boom. See, it changed to a one, because I destroyed one of them. And this one, is this one fast? Yeah, that one's really fast. So if you want a fast one. So you have to kind of know which ones are faster, which ones are slower when you fire them, too. Interesting. Two bases on the left, America's average speed. Base in the center, Europe, slow speed. Two bases on the right, fast. Okay. Average, slow, fast. Each of the weaponry used is intended for an enemy target type. Heavy artillery destroys spacecraft, one and two. And that's like that. Uh, ballistic missiles destroy the shuttle. Both block enemy bombs during battle. Playing with one joystick only, use, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, enemy attack is launched by the shuttle that flies above the highest orbit on the radar and protection from the enemies is done through satellites that navigate in the lowest orbit. Uh, each time a bomb lands on dry land, the planet's energy bar decreases. So that red thing coming down and it flashes is not good. So yeah, because that's the bomb and you can shoot that bomb. But yeah, okay. You uh, can shoot the red one. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Oh, we can't go very far that way. I'm not sure why you wouldn't always keep the target at the top if it it's limited. It'll only fly as high as the target is. Yes. So why would you ever shoot? Oh, because you, you have can go to come wider. in close to go wider. Yeah, to get it when it is wide. I mean, it does. But shoot it now. It stops. It oh, stops. Oh, it there. stops on the line too. Yeah, it lets so you get the bomb if you're on the bottom. Yeah. <clears throat> gotcha. I get Interesting. It. So there's different. Uh, no nice setup, but no enemy explosion. Mm. Speed could be color coded. I think it is. They're I all. Think, they're different colors. I think it is. Like if you go look, like yellow, yellow, yellow. They are. How do you get back to the center? I don't think you can. It's only. And that is orange-orange. Orange. Yeah. So they are color-coded. Uh, uh, status bar shows the attack launched against you. If the planet is close to being destroyed, the bar flashes. Critical. Um, when you level up, you receive 10,000 points, five energy charges in the planet status bar, and one more military badge. Military badge in the bottom left. Signaling you are advancing in the mission. Missiles are destroyed if they uh, hit absorption shields. Oh, if they hit those dots. Um, is like our missiles? Oh, they are. Oh, I see. What? Am I going crazy? One went through it. Didn't one go through it? Through what? Oh, it must have hit something. Anyway. You shot the space shuttle. I did. It's bad. When missiles cross the highest orbit, the aim is automatically shifted to the previous orbit. Okay. We will read more. Now Darcy can play. Darcy knows enough. To play. I don't think I know any more now. Oh, you got it. Good. But your your main mission is to shoot that space shuttle. How do I shoot? Is that the other joystick? Nope. Uh, it's up and the button to launch your missiles. Oh, too and that's slow. the slow. That's real slow. So you really almost never want that. That's probably why it's not selectable. So the mediums are on the left, the fast ones are on the right. And I believe it does reset to the middle one each time. Oh. Okay. And we will play two players after I read the uh, interview. So I asked him a uh, bunch of questions. Um, oh, book a boom! You got it. Book a boom. That's what we call it. Uh, well, James asked me to talk a little bit about what it was like to create Orbital War, where the idea came from, and how long it took to produce. At first, this seemed easy to answer, but I had to refer to my date notes in the code and the first drafts of the game on paper to remember. Orbital War was born precisely on August 2nd, 2020, on a summer night. 
In the middle of a pandemic, my wife and I were sitting on the balcony talking about the situation the world was experiencing at the moment. We live in Portugal, away from our family in Brazil. Because of the strong and providential isolation caused by the pandemic, we felt even more distant and isolated from our family members. I kept saying that we're both in a space capsule. Many people have gone through this alone or with others. Some friends didn't even survive it. During the conversation, we were pensive looking at the stars and we saw uh, some kind of star speeding across the sky. It was the International Space Station. Have you seen it before? Yeah. Yeah, so have I. I've definitely seen satellites. Satellites for, for sure. sure. For sure. Oh, nice one. You got seven of them. Three more to go. Uh, I had the ISS app on my phone at the time and opened it to confirm we were right. At that time, indeed, the space station was passing over Portugal and heading towards Africa. It also occurred to me that if there are an astronauts in the station, if they were there... Oh, the bomb! The bomb, when you fire your cruise missiles, yep. if the bomb comes out, it will kill the bomb instead of the space shuttle. What? Like the red bomb that comes yep. down, if yep. your missiles hit it. Yep. It um, will. It almost hit it there. If the missiles hit it, what happens? It dies and they die. Oh, okay. But you kind of want that? Well, oh, you want well, you, to see, like, yeah, I that, didn't kill that it. You I wanted want to kill it. it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, good suggestion, Al Nefer, about the blinking stars being randomized. <laughs> Like they could be moved in different spots rather than uh, the. Oh, got it! Oh, you're on level two. Oh my god! There's more ISSs. <laughs> They've increased. Oh, you pretty much got. Oh, what? Bomb. I shot the bomb. Because the tip. And the the bomb dropped just before. Mmm. Oh no! It's gonna do it again. Yeah. Oh no! Uh, it also. Let's see, almost, figuratively speaking, alien oblivious to the pandemic. I immediately thought, I'm going to make a game about astronauts lost in space and a station to rescue them. Thinking about it today, I think it was an old desire because I had done a sequest hack in mid-2007 called Atmosphere, where a flying saucer rescued astronauts in space. Oh, that's a cool a hack of, of um, sequest. Make it in space. I don't think we've played that hack. Um, or I haven't seen it. Uh, well, I made the sketch on paper, which I called Atmosphera, which we showed. Uh, I sent a photo of the original sketch attached for you to see. Yeah. Two days later, and on the 4th, I started to assemble the scenario already in the code, same day at night. Most likely because of Zarkstars 1 and 2 codes that were in progress, I dropped the orbital code as it was and only went back to the idea and started building the code itself three months later on November 14th. Night mode, nice idea. Yeah, it is real. Oh, looks good because it's like all blue and it's got that night look to it. It's the other time, it was daytime. Did that hit? No. No, the bomb got it. Damn, that's hard to get in between. Oh. Well, you have to time the blowing up of the bomb so that uh, you don't blow it up at the wrong timing. Oh, no. I don't know what killed it there. Oh, I guess it, it was the bomb it again. It actually hit the bomb because the bomb's attached to it, right? But it's the, it's the timing, because sometimes it hits the oh, bomb. Oh, you hit yourself. Oh, okay. The ISS station. Yeah, it doesn't blow up anything else, just the bomb. I think it's just the lead... Oh. Oh, no. Uh, okay, where were we? Well, I made this... In two or three days, the game was practically functional. And at most people who develop games know, this is the simplest part. The problem comes later. It's months of fixing bugs and tweaking code so everything works correctly. Oh, you got two of them all of a sudden. You look down and you look back up and you got two more. Nice. Oh, so close. Yeah, I knew that, that would have been good ask. timing, though. What ended up happening was that over the months, I ended up changing the original concept from a rescue game to a war game. This was most likely motivated by the political differences of the civilians mainly, which were and still are taking place in Brazil at that period. I imagine that this war must be moved off planet as if it wasn't enough. 
We have the pandemic as a serious problem. I also talked years before with my friend and mentor, oh. Hator Messiel. Messi oh, the words are on fire. 19,996. Pretty Is that good. how many points? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. I thought you said it was the brightmost one that said how many you destroyed. Uh, oh, the the rightmost one. Sorry, that's why you got confused. So you, during this round, mm -hmm. you got six. Oh, uh, okay. And if you rolled it over, you would have got some more health back and gone to the next level. Uh, so keep going. One more time. I have... Um, hold it. I have some more to read, and then we'll play two-player so that we can divide up. Do defending, which is probably going to be a lot easier to survive. Um, I imagine uh, Hator Maciel, hope I'm doing it, saying that right, that I wanted to make a series of war games independent of each other, and this would be a good play game to put the idea into practice. So he does have idea for more war games like this one. And then it happened once again. The Zark Star saga was in need of attention. The Orbital War idea ended up being put on hold for now. Now, yes, for many months. I simply abandoned the code to pay attention to the graphic material of Zark Stars. A lot of people don't know, but the graphic part, uh, I'm guessing he means the, um, not the graphics in the game, but the packaging, consumes a lot of time from creation to the moment where all the parts are assembled. After more than a year, Orbital of War returned to the drawing board definitely, according to my notes on January 17th, 2022, and the code was, code was finalized already with the final color adjustments for MTSC in Brazil and the insertion of a complete bonus phase on the 12th of May this year. In this, from the initial creation to this presentation on Zero Page Homebrew, two years have passed. When I see this today, I realize that these mo moments when you need to hold back anxiety during the process, because you know that the games are being ideal idealized today can take up a few years to reach people. This game was born with 16K, as many of my previous games appeared, except for ZPH the game, which was 4K. Uh, but I managed to flatten it to 8K, even with the inclusion of the extra stage and the soundtracks with their many variations. Nice. Uh, in essence, the game varied between the idea of being a solitary game and a cooperative game. Oh, thank you, Vitoko, for putting Darcy's score down. For two players using both joysticks at the same time, which I end up ended up insisting. Perhaps this is also motivated by the issue of isolation, because we're in pairs here. But after a few days of testing with my wife, she suggested the game also needed a way to play with just one controller. Given that you could already play with both joysticks as long as you held them together and placed on some kind of surface. And I know that this accessory existed at the time, or was kind of an accessory uh, to store the controls, but I even considered making some or something similar for people to use in Orbital War. In the meantime, my beta tester, Daniel Medina, built on his own ho his homemade prototype of this accessory to test, which turned out to be the way he likes to play the most. I have no doubt it's something very challenging that needs a lot of concentration. Yeah, two joysticks with two buttons. I mean, I have um, a special dual joystick for that. Um, does it have buttons for the second player? On yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, Anyway, these Joystick 1 Freedom commands were included after a few early releases as they make perfect sense too. I think that one of the cool things that this game brings is that you can play it in different ways, using only Joystick 1 or only Joystick 2 or both together, playing alone or in pairs, alternating joysticks with your partner during the game. You can choose which way you like the most. Also, different parts of the material, not very common for Atari 2600, that I included a board that proposes another way of playing where you have ch five chances to defeat the enemy, including markers that show your evolution in the game. But for that, you need to open a top secret uh, envelope that comes with the material. In this envelope are the coordinates for you to continue the game after the very first oh, victory there scene. There go. Nice. Yeah, Night flashes time. when you're one... Uh, one away? When you're one shuttle away from it. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, just missed it. Um, as well as a logbook and instructions for using the board. But the cartridge can also be played without the board without any problems, as you can see. Thank you for inviting, inviting me to join the show and enjoy the game. Leandro Camera. Well, thank you for letting us premiere the game. I think we've got a hold on how to play the game. And I am going to take up the second controller. 
which does the missiles at the bottom. So you don't need to worry about those missiles anymore. I wasn't worried about the missiles. <laughs> We're gonna kill this spaceship. slow. Forget it. Let me get it here. Four. Damn it. Success got in the way. Got it. Two more. Music gets crazy. Ah. I mean, it's not a bad thing I'm hitting them, but. There it is. <laughs> you want to hit them? <laughs> no, no. It, I mean, yeah, it's better than um, hitting the ground, which they just did there. One more. One. Oh! God. See, it's flashing. What? Oh, it hit my missiles. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it could do that. No, no, no. Ah. Don't have much uh, energy left either. I mean, it's... Got um, it. Oh, we didn't get much energy back. No. Well, the thing is, like, the bomb... There are several things you have to keep in, uh, in mind. One is that you can't shoot the bomb when the space shuttles are... Or the space station is available around. Because, the ISS? Because it, your gun will hit the ISS instead. Oh, okay. Oh, damn it. Cleared yes, the way for you. You did. That was good. I don't know if we'll survive this round. Oh, damn it. It's so hard. stations. Why? No, I hit them. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Ugh, pausing. Ah, just caught the edge. Nice. Oops. You got that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah. Two more. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Ah. Don't have much energy left. Nice. Okay. 
Nighttime. Oh, it's fast oh. now. Uh -oh. At least the ISSs are close together. I think I'm gonna have to use the fast ones. Stay with the fast ones. It moves fast enough anyway. Oh yeah, this one's gonna be a lot easier. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ah, ice stations. Ah. Um. So, what are those other ships? Are they ours? Um. You when don't I accidentally get shoot them, you don't get points for them. Do ah, I lose points it. for shooting them? No, they just get in the way. I, I, they just seem to get in the way. I think they're the enemy ships. I assume they were because you could blow them up, and you can't blow up the ISS. Yeah, and you don't get penalized for it. My the missiles go right through them. Ugh, the timing of the ISS stations, it's right on I can't uh oh, I'm gonna have to use a different missile. Come on, come on. Good. Cause the offset was I couldn't get it. Like the ISS was doing the same orbit as the, uh, only three more to go. Get out of the way! Oh my god. Two more. One more. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, we're I, on level four. I killed us. The ISS and the shuttle move in sync. Okay, we're gonna switch. Okay. See if we can make it past level four. Almost dead. Almost level five. Okay, so what do you suggest? Lower? Stay in the lower for more flexibility? I um, think so. Yeah. Because I can go across the whole screen. I'm at FF. I think in the middle. Yeah, no. Because it takes longer to get there. Damn it. Yeah, I'm going to stay lower. Damn it! Sorry. Uh -oh. Let's get some practice oh, here. Got it. This really works well as a two-player game. Oh. Don't shoot the ISS! Oh, quit your crying. <laughs> ah, ah! Has to land on land though, which is which is cool. What the ah? Oh. Okay. If it goes in the ocean, it doesn't matter. Ah. Uh, stop it. Bad cat. Shoot past. <sighs> really interesting. Sometimes I can shoot. God, it's wrapping around. Oh, I got it. Don't shoot it yet. Okay, it's fine. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. Oh, it was just timing. That's why I mentioned it. God, it's right in the Stay. ISS. I can shoot the ISS, right? Accidentally? No. No, it's fine? No, no, you can't shoot it. Okay. Which is to say you can and it's bad. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> sorry to me. <laughs> <laughs> Ambiguous answer! Ha ha ha! Ma? Ma? Squeak? Squeaky cat? <laughs> I need some oil. <laughs> Two more. One more. Kaplow! Kaplooey! We have so much energy! Yay! Don't hit the ISS! I mean, you say that. They have families.
I don't know what happens sometimes. Sometimes I'm just like, I don't know why it blew up. It's like it got to the thing, it died right before it. I think it, if it hits that bomb, even if the bomb yeah. is on the space shuttle. Yeah, it checks for a hit, whether it's there, wherever it is on the screen. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. Which makes sense. I mean, it blows it up. Oh, you got it. Nice. It's just off. Just I got to the, the back of it. it. Yeah. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Stop crying. It's Jeez. terrible. <laughs> it's, it's a tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know if that hurt us. It didn't flash. Sometimes I can go through the barrier and sometimes I can't. I don't quite understand the logic. Like, I could the second afterwards. Damn it! Because if you miss, you can't recall it. Yep. And it goes way off the screen and you're like, well, it's already really, really close. Ah! I was hitting ISS because it was in the way. I don't know what I'm supposed to do when the missile... Ah! Oh, it stopped. That's what happens. Is it, it, when it stops, that's that screws me up. I think as I'm going to go to the second. No, I'm not. It's just not enough. Two more to go. Why is it on the ISS? Oh, we can get back to the middle. When... Uh... Stopping. It's not able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> oh, God. One more, I think. Yep. Oh, it's in the Curly. way. Oh, I hit it. Level three. Smash. Smash, I say. Smash. Smash. Extra H. Yeah, playing this as a single per player, that's hard to do both jobs at once. Ah, damn it. Oh, ah. Uh. There, no. no, there are no there are no <laughs> windows to hit it for me right now because all of them Line fly up. at. Uh, I I can try one more spot. There's one spot I can try because they're if this synchronized. Is fast yeah, yeah, it's just it's in the shadow. Yeah, you'll have to get like the beginning. Uh, so you can do that one, but it has to line up with the bomb. Nice! Now it's now it's out of sync, so you'll be able to do it. The next level is much easier. It's just we ran out of um, hit points. Pow! Pow! Right in the kisser. No ISS. Two more. Oh, 
Ow! Suck it! <laughs> One more! Then, we, then we're on easy street. Got him. Got that sucker. Smoosh! Nice. I would go with the fast ones on the right hand side. Yeah, but you're playing that game and I'm playing this game, so I'll make the decisions. <laughs> oh, fine. <laughs> ah. Yeah, it's the slow one doesn't work at all anymore. No, this, is hard. this is hard for this player. Oh, I'm gonna have to move up a, a rung. Cause this. Ah. Oh. The lower one, if it gets down to the lower rung on this level. Um, the ISSs always go through it because they're going so fast. So I have to move up to the second rung on this level. They're not. <laughs> the ISSs are pausing now, which is good. Ah. Oh, okay. oh, at least they're getting out of sync every once in a while. Hit me right in the eye, SS. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible pun. No, it's right there. Ah, ah. Come on, get it. It's a hard level for me. Yes. Let's see what pain this brings. Oh, now the ISS is stopping. Oh, the top one's stopping now. Oh, sorry, I'm, I said the ISS, I meant the space shuttle. Pow! Ow. Oh. This th I think this is the last level. Is it? Yeah. Hmm. I can't get that one. I'm gonna go to a lower rung again. Ships. <laughs> oh, cheeky Seems monkey. in the way. Nice. No, no, do that. I hit it enough for the both of us. We don't need you doing it, too. Uh, I have the same thing to say to you. <laughs> I think we've lost more points of health by hitting the ISS ourselves than the bullets hitting the ground. <laughs> Too much friendly fire happening. It's That's not, a thing that happens. It's not very friendly. Four. Halloween Jack. It's like a space version of Seawolf with the underto undertones of Destroyer. Ah! Just missed it. Ah! 
Uh, no, it rope looped around. Oh, did I miss it? Pow! Oh. 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 It is hard to thread the needle with that bullet. You have to get it. Don't pause there. Oh my god. Three more. We need health. <laughs> oh, that's stop long enough. <laughs> he almost was right. In the right spot. Go, go, go. I think we have two more hits and we're done. Nice. Two more times. We need that health. Pause. Perfect. No, no, <laughs> no. No. No, oh, no. It's the opposite of what we want. Nice. Nice! One more. It's frustrating that I don't know where the uh, point of contact is for, oh, we did for it. turning. We did so it! Like moving it from side to side. I moved the joystick, but it doesn't seem to go there. We won! Did we? Woo! Woo! But they're still bombing us. Oh, God. We didn't win. <laughs> Premature... Victory Celebration. celebrations. Oh my god, it's crazy. It's the Don't worry, I'll level. kill us. I'll end it. I'll <laughs> end, end it. it. End it quick. Oh, it, it's flashing in and out. It's craziness. Got one. Oh, that's that's good. I thought we won. Now it's just like hyper mode now. Oh. So close. Ah, I'm hitting the ISSs. Many times over. Oh, oh no. We're dead. we're dead in one more hit. I don't think we're going to survive this wave. Oh, I got him with the slow bomb. Oh, no, I didn't. Because the stupid bomb showed up. <laughs> oh, oh, flames. The world death. is on fire. The world's on fire. <laughs> Depends on who <laughs> uh, we are. We are Americans. We are saving the earth. Except not. We failed to save the earth. Look, it's all burning. <laughs> so we made it to wave six. Australia is burning twice. Uh, regular Australia and Mirror Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Mirror Australia. Yeah, um, <laughs> There is a special Happy thing, but we can't do it because we were just panicking on this. This is the bonus stage. Oh, I see. I believe, yes. Or the how to access the bonus stage. But I won't read it out because it's in the secret package. It's in the secret package. You so secret you shouldn't even know. So I'm not going to just read it out and not a, and, and not us show it. But um, <laughs> this is... Uh, this is an <laughs> excellent two-player game the two players are both working very cooperatively yeah and doing completely, completely separate different jobs, things yeah yeah but oh, both working towards the same goal it, yeah single it, player it's tough yeah but two players it's although it's, watch it's out for the spot. other player complaining because you shot the iss <laughs> yes every once in a uh, while notice he was pretty quiet on how often he was shooting there a ISS. lot <laughs> a lot <laughs> it gets in the way it does um, i don't it, know why i don't know why during the war we put up this needs to be in the instructions <laughs> so we understand why are there more iss's i can think of reasons why there are but we need to know that it's because they're coordinating the yeah. defense or something yeah don't launch more yeah if they're going to get in the way um, this and was... why tie them to Australia catching on fire? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, this was envisioned as a two-player game to uh, begin yeah, with. Yeah. The extra option is one player. Um, it does it, it oh, does seem a lot yeah, harder yeah, as cool. one player because you have to do double the work. 
um, but it does, it is, uh, make the possibility. Oh, Leandro is here in the chat. Hello, Leandro. Thank you for sending us the game. Um, so this one is on pre-order right now, but you can put in your order. I think it's going to ship very, very soon. Leandro can, uh, chime in on when it's going to ship. Uh, to order the game, uh, you email skyline2600games at gmail.com. If Leandro can type that into the chat. Um, and let me just go to the post on the Atari Age forums so you guys can see uh, what uh, the instructions for that are. Um, here it is. Send a message to email at skyline2600games at gmail.com with the subject orbital war dash your name. Um, so it's easier for them to keep track of, for him to keep track of. Uh, to confirm the order, the game's already in stock and waiting from, for the green light from you. From me? From you? Green light! Go! <laughs> uh, I guess th it, it isn't a pre-order. Then it is? I don't know. Um, I really enjoyed watching you playing, uh, Leandro says. Well, thank you so much. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. It was very strategic. Uh, you really had to adjust your strategy every level because of the speed differences and the pausing. You had to use short, uh, slow or uh, fast missiles. Mm -hmm. I had to adjust my aim as well, depending on how many ISSs were, where I'm yep. shooting it. The top ring for shooting is just too far away to um, yeah, calculate. No, it's, it's like... it's. As it is, it's never worth it to go up there. Yeah. I, yeah. I found being at the bottom most of the time because you could repeatedly shoot and you could rescue it right to the last second, yeah, yeah. too. Um, hello to Brazil. So there you go. You can order it right now. There's some more shots of the box. The box looks great. All the content looks great. Um, he always does amazing box uh, work for his games. And the board game looks great. And we may take a look at it uh, if and when we get a version of the box and use the board game version and play that in conjunction with the game. Because it's got some tokens and some cards and stuff like that. The hardest version of the game is in black and white. Well, we didn't play that. Uh, we, I guess we should briefly, briefly play that. Um, just to check that out. Go to black and white. Well, unless it's harder than the end level. The beginning <laughs> is harder than, than True, the True, but there might be it. like some... Let's let's just read out the differences. Oh, yeah, it starts on fire. It starts on fire. <laughs> wow, that is hard. You have to put out the fires first while you're shooting the enemy. Uh, it just says it makes it more difficult. Uh, yeah, let's find out how. Um, it doesn't say exactly... This Atari here is demanding yeah, you being my difficult? attention from the other Atari. Oh, he's, he's helping. Uh -oh. Okay. Oh. What is happening here? You have two of them. Oh. That's more. Oh, there's two shots too. Yeah. Oh, so it it's, is. It's good. And it's bad. good bad. It's good bad. Oh, do I have to take out both of those shots? No, just one. Okay, it's easier for me because I can pick which shot I want to take out. Oh, but they're smaller. It's also good bad for me. <laughs> Everything's green. So weird. And there's no land. That's so weird. <laughs> why, would you, why did you remove the land in the black and white? That's strange. Oh boy, yeah. Uh, and you have to get through both of those missiles too. Which, pff, good luck with that. Oh my god, this is much harder. <laughs> this is much harder. <laughs> <laughs> Much harder. Okay. <laughs> we got an idea of it. We're not going to survive that. That is really challenging. <laughs> the excellent option for people who want to uh, make themselves crazy <laughs> and play the difficult version. But I mean, if you win the normal version, that is definitely what you want to play. Yep, switch over. So we're going it's to... It's not working! It's not working. We're going to move on to the next game. 
which is Refractor, and it's a brand new game. Uh, it's just kind of started. Um, so uh, it was first posted July 17th. This builds from July 22nd. They just updated it today. Refractor. Uh, it's from Dave C., uh, who also made Legendary Spear, uh, Pizza Boy, and now Refractor. Uh, early work in progress for a, a two-player pinball-style game inspired by uh, games like Ballistics and Shuffle Puck Cafe on various platforms. And a little bit of Laser Blast. Laser Blast. Um, I guess with the laser. Currently, there is no score, no sound, or AI, or a menu. So it's just a proof of concept demonstrating the shooting collision mechanic interested in any feedback. The player has a laser they can use to shoot at a reflective ball and try and knock it into the opposing goal. The playfield is larger than the screen and scrolls up and down to track the ball movement. The lasers are imagined as sitting on a gantry above the playfield, so they're always on top or and the bottom of the screen. Laser beams automatically track towards the ball on a relative position. Update he did today for the show. Uh, three levels with different obstacles, or no obstacles, uh, select only uh, with the select switch during gameplay, still no menu system, uh, select switch equals no couch compliant seal of approval. Nope. Sad face emoji. <laughs> uh, scan line uh, glitches fix. Uh, there's still a, um, a line count issue problem. It's, it's minor. Um, it just jumps a bit. A few new glitches, long story short, a few boundary page boundary timing bugs that I couldn't solve quickly. Okay. You're very welcome, Leandro. And congratulations on the release. Uh, it looks good. Okay, so I am the top player. I, mine is the green laser. And I am trying to push into Darcy's goal at the bottom. by nudging the ball with my laser. Come on. Oh, so close. There we go. <laughs> ah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, did I score a goal? <laughs> oh, I thought off. it has to go in the center. It went off the screen. Yeah, oh, it, was I an see. it was an er oh. error. Ah, okay. Uh oh, I'm going to score another goal. There's a bug there. There's a bug. Yeah, no, I can't play this game. There's, there's no point in me playing because I don't have, uh, I don't have Olympics. Uh, <laughs> I don't have rapid fire Olympics. Use my knuckle skills. Okay, let's take a look at the other boards. Oh, yeah. It's very cool, though. <laughs> yes. Ah! Cheater. I didn't cheat. <laughs> you just weren't playing, and I was. Ah! <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing wrong. So it really comes down to when there's no obstacles, we can press it faster. Ah! I'm just barely keeping it out. Oh, uh oh. Stuck on the side. Uh, but God. I'm hitting it harder. <laughs> oh yeah, both buttons work. Was it? Were you doing that? Oh, you're you're way off. You're not even hitting the ball. Damn it! Okay, <laughs> <laughs> getting laser pink Floyd by. Uh, so, what would fix this so you don't have to <laughs> press the button like a madman? I don't know, because I think the thing that makes it awesome is exactly how it works. <laughs> I don't know. I'm but... already tired. I mean, you can distract the ball by pushing Oh, it. a timer on it? Like, so that you can't hit it more often than what have you? 
so that you yes. are you each have equal power, and so it comes down to <gasps> you, blast, bl like a like even if it's like a, quick a recharge, timer. a recharge, on the laser. Yeah, like something could, like that, like a timer or yeah, yeah. You can hit it a bunch of times, but then you run out, or you can strategically hit it. Yeah, like because you once want in to like while. shoot it where you want. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. Oh, uh, thrust. That's a good idea. Rhythm, like having a specific. Like that, like it, like the yeah. the. Uh, Doop. There's that one jump one where you have to get the rhythm or what have you. Yep. Yeah. Boop, 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 uh, boop, boop. But it would be rhythm if it was like a timer, because whoever could get it like the perfect rhythm would. Uh, oh. Oh. Would get the maximum number of, of shots could, in, right? You could do it like golf games. There's it. Yeah. Stop making noise. No, 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 <laughs> I can't. You can do it like golf games where there's the perfect swing of power. Like if it's on the oh, edges, yeah. you don't get much hit on it. But if you get in the, right in the middle, so that also introduces rhythm, but doesn't like completely disable you from hitting it. So it goes through this. And if you, you hit, hit too, it. And so too much power is hitting it too quickly? Uh, no, like there's green, like, there's green. Oh, I, middle, I understand the image yellow. you're saying, but how, when you, there's like, we don't have an accelerometer, it's on or no. off. So how yeah. do you replicate that? By not hitting it too fast? Uh, you would hit it at the right spot as you're... Oh, it's a pendulum. It's a pendulum. And you... Kind of oh, like okay. Or it and can that's go how they and made some... Obviously, you're... Yeah, I didn't know what they did that at golf games. Yeah. <laughs> and, and other games. Bowling games. Things like that. Um, yeah, laser overheatings. Uh, I'm having to watch this sound off. I've only played it. <laughs> Way more violent. <laughs> <laughs> played this way. I mean, if the other person's doing it, you have to do it. Because they're just going to mash the ball into your side. There's no... <laughs> it's the laser light show experience! Uh, and then once it's going, it's more like... Let's see, that's, that's, that's an error, but... <laughs> there was a uh, oh yeah the ball could pr provide rhythm by flashing and you hit it when the ball is flashing yes and the rhythm could change the faster the ball is moving the faster you got to hit it <laughs> yes yeah. yeah the ball could be the indicator and that would keep the screen clean of of any um you where know, the faster it's move. moving the slower you have to hit it yes yes <laughs> yes yeah yeah that yeah, when it's moving slow, the more opportunity you have to make it go faster. But once it's moving fast, you have to time it right. I think that's the cleanest way of doing it. Then you have to go like, okay. And then you have time to also adjust. It's like, okay, boom, or boom, boom. Instead boom, of lasers, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> it could be howitzers since you got to reload. <laughs> pow, pow. And it's a bullet pow. hitting it. <laughs> you could. Yeah. It could be a. Uh, a green bullet and the other but person that have would, a pink bullet. That would lose like the cool. I like the laser. Like I love the fact that you're shooting it with a laser and you're slightly changing its speed because <laughs> a laser's only got a little bit of power on it and it's yep. mostly momentum. Just a little bit of electrons. Yeah, I like that. So yep. I none of my what you could do is it's 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 um it's like neutron star material. So when you shoot it with a howitzer, it just pings it a little bit. Just like, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> and it's great that the laser doesn't extend fully. Like you have to be somewhat close to it. Like I'm too far there. Yeah, yeah. It, on, it only goes 45 degrees. Yeah. yeah. I like that as long as you're within 45, you don't have to aim. <laughs> yeah, it just works. Like you, well, you but are you aiming. You're aiming aim. by where you are. It's like if I wanted to go that way. You're not controlling where you are and where the laser goes. You're controlling no. where the laser goes by going where you are. And I like that. Yeah. And it dictates which way the ball goes. Like the basic mechanics are beautiful. Like they work. It's just about the shooting and the minimizing this craziness. Hey, you want to buy a new joystick for me? Well, no, you have to buy it. You're the one that made me play this game. <laughs> and then and then we're so good at it that I had to abuse your equipment to have any chance. It's not my fault. Yeah. <laughs> um, I love the shadow on the ball. That's awesome. Yeah, it's great. That's really, yeah. really good. And the rotating guys at the top and the bottom of the screen. So good. Yeah. Like everything about this, that's why I wanted to put it on the show, even though it was in really early form. 
It's a bit of a, a graphic issue there, but at the oh, where uh, on the very left hand side with me, the top of my guy disappears. But that's very very minor. Is your guy fine across the whole way? Yeah, your guy's fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I wanted to put it on the show because I I love the premise of this game. Oh yeah, it's it's awesome. I, I love the premise, especially really of of the different boards. Like this one is like there's so much in the way. Yeah, and he could put like 10, 20 boards in here. It's like no problem. Like tons of room. Like you just expand the expand the ROM, right? Anyway, great great start. I love encouraging like super unique new ideas for the yeah, for so what, sorry just i'd like to go on with what you could do yep. maintaining the same thing yep. so instead of hitting the button quick which A crazy which which just like james has hidden but like even if i was really good at hitting the button you're better at it i'm not good at it but if you <laughs> right. are just a little better you will like you will own me. Yes. And, only like, be that and that's a better. problem with a game, right? Like it's whoever but, is better. but if you have it that you hold the button and you have a charge and you hold the button and it pushes oh. it the whole time and when your charge is out then it you then you have to wait for it to recharge and maybe you hold it and it goes bzz, 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 or something like that as it recharges but it, then yep. it's like then it's like when do you hit it and and what angle that, and then you're controlling it more right that, and you're holding it and it's like bzz, so it'll so it'll maintain the same right. theme behind it which is that you're blasting it with a laser and like pushing it and accelerating it so along so you could give little hits or you can give huge hits yeah that's even more interesting of a of a way to control the ball so you hold down the button it charges up for a big hit or or just like the long what that's 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 cool yeah. too to do the charge but like what i was saying was that when you hold the button yeah. the, you hold the button and it continues to shoot the whole time oh. instead of pulsing but when it runs out it runs out and so it's the same thing the the making it charge is just the same thing only adding one level one layer of difficulty yeah but it's literally the same thing yeah um well i'm talking about it not being a big hit i'm talking about it being this continuous stream acceleration yeah while the laser's on it and then you just run out of charge and have to wait for that's it to an charge overheating up. style yeah yeah. Um, or it, Put in it, both. it can either be overheating or both. it can just be a charge thing because yep. lasers, they use a lot of power. You've got to build up your capacitors, you know, yep. unless you have That's a whole true. city that you can brown out and then uh, <laughs> maybe you get an extra shot off. Yep. I, I like both. I, I think one might work or the other. The continuous with the overheating. Mm -hmm. Overheating is kind of cool because the other person gets to dominate for a while. It's like, oh, you're overheating. You have to wait for it to cool down. Yeah, and you can, you can, in strategy, you can wait until they yes. shoot so that you have a shot. Yep. Uh, obviously, if you both play equally well, it comes down to a different strategy, like you know, like uh, just trying to get your timing on when you shoot it to do the angles or whatever. Right? Yep. So both are really good ideas, and I, it's like the, I think this is unfeasible the way it works right now. It's just too crazy and out of control and it, like you said it's the person who can press the button faster is yeah. gonna win a lot of the time yeah it's like uh we like there's this board game uh it's a puzzle game and so there's these two varieties one of them everybody plays you're gonna end up playing all the puzzles everybody does they're just quick little tile puzzles that you put together yeah and in the one version of this game everybody plays but you're always playing a different puzzle than the other people Right. And so the puzzles might rotate, but he's not working on the puzzle that she's working on at the same time. And so right. if he's quicker at puzzles, he might get a puzzle that's harder for him because right. it's just how it is. Some puzzles, like your brain, like the way you want to solve it is quick. These puzzles ch it doesn't change? Even, or can you memorize, oh, different. I know this puzzle. I, I suppose can... you could. Okay. But but no, there was a lot of randomness in it. So it was okay. like the bat was different and the, the thing you try to fit into it is different oh, and all okay. this stuff. There's a lot good. of variety. Good, good. Uh, there was another version where every time everybody was making the same puzzle. And in that version, for instance, my wife Tamara, she was this much faster than me at that game. <laughs> and she would win every round by like a hair. Right. And, like, and I stood no chance because she, like, I mean, I, I could, I suppose, like practice and try to get better at it. But like, I, I don't. I don't want to play board games. I have to practice that. <laughs> you just want to have fun. Yeah, you just want to play it, you know. Casual, And yeah. so those two different, and that's, anyways. So, like, the straightforward one with the just the pressing the button, that's the problem we have here, where it's like, yeah, you're faster, and therefore you will always win. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, uh, the next game we're going to be playing it's is Treat Time. Yum, 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 treat time. That's the game we're going to play oh with God. the kitties. It is so funny to have two hyper-aware <laughs> cats <laughs> during is. Treat Time. Oh, pay attention. Oh, oh that, was, was, that was the little one. Yep, that was Sprite. 100% Sprite. Oh, and that was Atari. They both earned their treats. We're going to be playing Boom, an updated work in progress next. Uh, by Chris Walton. Um, and he's done a bunch of updates. We had the world premiere of this game uh, last time we played it, but uh, that was uh, a month and a half ago, so he's done a bunch of updates. It's so funny. They, it's almost like they forget that they can press the bell to get the thing. Because... <laughs> oh, Lambda Express is this is this you is that dave is that you dave dave c <laughs> different names on the chat great game oh my god we love it can, it's your bell. thank you for making that game um hopefully you can uh the ideas that we put out are <laughs> useful <laughs> what happened he just decided he was gonna come over and try and steal atari oh that his bell. that happens that's that's the problem with one ring the bell. You put the treat out and they just go, nope. That's why you have to put them apart, far apart. Yay. Oh, fluff. <clears throat> that's why for the last one I reward them both so I can just, yes. justifiably take both their bells. And they'll be happy. Yeah. Be like, oh, treat. Oh, Nobody's no mean. more bells. Yeah. Um, oh, you got an ad in the middle? What has the recommended brought me into? You brought you into. Um, <laughs> oh, you got brought into the cats. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, I yes, can. They play their own game. It's called Hit the Bell and Get a Snack. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it brought you into some Atari Twenty Six Hundred gaming. So go for it. Load her up. Oh, we're gonna be playing Boom, which is a port of Bomberman. I don't know if you've played this game before. No, I, I think I have. We're going to be playing when release... you said it, it sounded familiar. Release arm powered. Arm powered. <laughs> Atari age. <laughs> Thank you for following, Fairy Owl Gaming. So, okay. So, oh, I have to plug in a different controller, actually. This is a two-button game. Oh. Watch out, watch out. This has button. two buttons. They don't work. Uh, well, they both treat no. as one button. It's a different type of controller yeah. for this. Now, are you happy because you got all those snacks today? I'm so happy my belly is full. Hold that, please. I don't think. I don't think those snacks can ever, a cat can ever be full of those snacks. <laughs> no. <laughs> they just expand and expand. Oh, pull down the B button. Excellent. That enables the two button support for Genesis controller. Because there's different things you can do in this game. Pros outside. There we go. Button two, Genesis. Chris Coded Walton, graphics Strong. by Nathan Strom available on Atari Age. Presenting Boom 2028. Oh, it went away before it stopped scrolling. Uh, this does have um, button save, two, Genesis. Save key support. Mm -hmm. um, but I heard that the Genesis interferes with the save key support that I read. But mm. so I didn't plug it in this time. But it does have Which save key for buttons? high score. Uh, B and C, I believe. So I'm going to start. Um, yes, go for it. Some notes about the game. Boom is a tribute to the classic NES a Bomberman game by Hudson Soft, released in 1985. Oh, you did miss Orbital. Uh, it was a really, really cool two-player game. Oh, oh, no! He's attacking his, his doppelganger. Oh, it's full of cat spit. Ah! Yeah, don't get too close to the bomb. Uh, you wanna, have you played Bomberman before? Yeah, I played multiplayer with you on one of your, uh... It wasn't. It wasn't on this though. Oh, what game, okay. What uh, system were we playing? It was during one of your your events. Probably SNES with the multi tap, most likely. So you also want to bomb the bricks to find the bigger explosion bomb. You will need that, so that you're not have just don't have frustratingly short bombing radiuses. 
It's attacking his doppelganger. I, I don't really want to attack this, even though it's super cute, because this is from Japan, and I'm sure I can find one locally. But we bought that at the Ghibli Studio, Ghibli Studio uh, Museum. It was super cool. <clears throat> yeah, that's a good, smart tactic. The objective of this game is to kill all the enemies, <clears throat> then find the hidden door, which you also have to bomb for. Could be anywhere. Um, in under one of the walls, each level also contains a hidden power-up that changes the rules of the game. Uh, more bombs, increased bomb radius, a detonator. That's why you need the second button, because uh. you can dictate when the bomb goes off when you get the bomb detonator, which is really good for killing enemies. Uh, Boom uses CDFJ bank switching, which uses the ARM processor in the Harmony Kart as a coprocessor. It has a few technical firsts for the 2600. For example, multicolor grid kernel. Oh my god, don't get that close. You were just on the edge. What's that? Is that the exit? Uh, yep, but you have to kill all the enemies first. You have a couple more there. Uh oh. Two left. Yeah, don't trap yourself with a bomb. Yeah, beside something. Uh, single pixel horizontal scrolling, which is uh, pretty amazing. Um, four bit, eight kilohertz digital music. I'll turn it up a bit here. Um, and a 112 pixel title screen logo. What does that mean? What can I do now? Is that I gotta run further? Oh, did you get the bonus? Yeah, yeah you got to run a little bit further. The bombs go three times as far now. The beta is about 90% complete, and there are a few missing features. Exa example, bombing the doors does nothing, and the bonus items are not yet implemented. Because normally bombing the doors is super, super bad, and it'll put a lot of enemies on the screen. So don't... In general, don't bomb the doors, even though it's not implemented. Uh, or actually, it should be implemented now. I think that information is... Uh-oh. Oh, oh two seconds. Gotta bomb that last guy. Ah! Oh, you killed yourself and him! Woohoo! So Success! You may, just, <laughs> you may just have the door left. <laughs> Success! Do I Critical. have my upgrade or no? Uh, yeah, you should still have it. Oh, maybe it resets. Try bombing. No, not the door. Not the door. Not the door. <laughs> I just talked about that. <laughs> I heard that you said it used to be that it was bad to bomb the door. And I was like, oh, <laughs> hopefully it's not so bad. It was, it's old instructions. He, he needs to update that. Um, but you did retain your big bomb, so you should be able, able to make uh, quick work of these dudes. Um, the game is played with a best with a Genesis controller in later levels. The second button is used to detonate the bombs. Alternatively, you can use a select switch instead of the second button, which is a little inconvenient for us, and that's why we use so the Genesis do controller. Do I have to kill all these guys before I go? Yeah. That's why you don't want to bomb the door? Yes. Exactly. Don't you get extra points, though? Uh, technically, do you? I hope so, because that's a lot of work. Oh. Get out of there! Ah. I'll make sure. I'm sure you do. You talked about it, Darcy wanted to demonstrate. <laughs> I mean, I it's good I to demonstrate it. <laughs> oh, continue, continue. Bedtime for me, have fun, see you. Thanks, Thrust, thanks yeah, for, thanks for uh, dropping in. Thrust is in Europe, European time. What, eight, nine hours ahead? So, oh, early bedtimes. <laughs> it's a Friday, it's got stuff to do. Nope. Out of that. Um, the high score table will be saved to a save key Atari box if one is inserted before starting the game. The beta is NTSC only at this point. I'll do a PAL 60 in the future. I believe he has a PAL version now. The beta can be played using the Stell emulator and on the Harmony card. The Uno card and Plus card are not currently supported because they don't support CDFJ Plus. They do their own thing. So, updates since we last played the game. I've uploaded a new beta 2 uh, version to the top post. The main changes are you can't walk into the exploding wall until it is gone. So you used to be able to walk into the exploding walls, but now you have to wait till it's completely... Did you get them? Oh, no. Nope. nope. Uh. I mean, if you go like just over a bit, 
Like you don't have to run right away. You can just duck around a corner. That's usually a ah! duck around a corner. <laughs> Yay, I think you, no, one more. Uh, bombing the exit door and power-ups now cause enemies to spawn. <laughs> uh, minor graphical glitch is fixed. Sound effect when enemies are killed. Uh, June 19th updates, uh, beta 3, PAL 60 version. There's now a PAL version, 11 p.m. here. Uh, okay, Al. Yeah. Oh, Al was uh -oh. in Europe as well. Did I get more of them? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you bomb the door? Because <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I have to keep explaining this to you. I'm not good at these games. <laughs> it's not even I about am, good. Well, I it's about what's, listening skills. <laughs> no, it's not about that. It's it's. I can understand and still make the mistake. <laughs> That's okay. It gives you more practice on level one. <laughs> level one. Actually, don't bomb the bricks if you've already got your upgrade because that'll help you trap them oh. against, because they'll they'll bounce yeah, against yeah. the bricks. It's just a little hint. Don't bomb the door, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, bomb chains are now possible by holding down the fire button. Uh, player enemy collisions detection now more forgiving. Uh, June 3rd update, you can now change the second fire button type by pressing select. Uh, fire two fire button on the second joystick, so you can play it with two joysticks, which is uh, a very good option. Why do they run away as soon as I get close? <laughs> they have a bit of intelligence. Some of them, some of them act a little differently. Uh, all hidden oh. bonus items oh, are now implemented. Oh no, walls now. Uh, roller skate movement speed is reduced. Yay! Movement speed on high score entry screen is increased. Uh, and that was release candidate one. This version, uh, I found a bug that could occasionally cause the game to enter into an infinite loop when an enemy is spawning. Uh oh. Oh, good timing. Is the door open? Is that the last guy? Go for it. Nope, not yet. There's one guy left somewhere. Oh. Oh, no, it. you did make it in there. Never mind. I just can't hear it. So if we turn off this up the sound too much here, it comes through the microphone. Is there another um, bonus to get here? Uh, yes, every level. Usually this is like a second bomb on the next level, which is really nice to have. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on. So. Ah! Who knows where it could be? Uh, which happens every time you kill an enemy on the bonus round. I've uploaded a new Release Candidate 2 version with this fix. Let me know if you find any more problems. So this is Release Candidate version 2. Haha, -ha, suck it! Ah, oh, he's behind a... Uh... Suffering suck it tash. Yeah, it's good. There you go. Now you don't need to intentionally bomb any walls now. To find your upgrade. So just make one path through. And now you can drop two bombs. But you have to be careful to not like lose track and run into them. Oh, you got it. Nice. Get him. No. Go yeah. around the corner. Get away. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you guys put up with having me play the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's so frustrating. It's good. It's good to get a variety of people playing the game. I know what it's like when other stuff. people play a game, and I'm like, "What are you doing? You're doing it all wrong." <laughs> play gooder. Don't run into that wall. <laughs> the other person's like, "I know. I'm not supposed to run into the wall." Oh, so close. Oh, he bit your that foot. That answers the question I kept forgetting to ask, which is, do they kill you? <laughs> yeah, don't I assumed them. I assumed they did, which you is why it's the correctly. first time that I was uh, murdered by them. <laughs> well, that's true. You've been killing yourself <laughs> most of the, every single time. I've run out of time twice. That's actually really good, that the only way you've died is um, by killing yourself. No, run. Oh, my God. Yes, I want to see. That's the thing. That's how I ended well, up. Well, go around close. a corner. Go around a corner. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's how you can see. 
That's that's obviously the correct way to do it, and I'm scared. As you should be. Oh, now I have to find the door. Oh. I have 166 seconds, but there's no enemies, so it's pretty good. Apparently it's harder for me to walk when there's no enemies. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the, the good place to put it, is yeah. in three. And remember, you have two bombs, so you can walk away, place another one, walk away. There you go. Da da da! <laughs> so the upgrade is uh, heart for the bomb, and that means more, larger increase of the radius. Oh. I think. Do you have to find it first? Uh -oh. And I always, yeah, always don't always, but I, I often fail to put it on a cross. Yeah, that's this, a strategy too. You make sure you put it on a cross so that it doesn't, has the more, more, more explodies. Uh, Oh Murder. my god, it just barely missed. Now this is an extreme feat of magic, this game. How it's made. Like, there's ah! very few games that, that look like this with a full boom scrolling pixel by pixel movement of, of the play field and multicolor ah! play. Run! Ah! Run! Ah! <laughs> Well, I would have been okay over there. No! It's one of those games that you would think, oh, that's impossible to ah! make, make on the 2600. Oh, maybe. Oh. Hi. How are you? Are you full of treats? Bomberman multiplayer is a ton of fun. That was what we played the time. Yes. Ooh, two of them. Oh, nice bonus. That was good, because... I wasn't getting it done the other way. <laughs> oh, he's very trapped. Just have to get the right timing. Nice. Splooch. Oh, and there's the thing. Oh, nice. Now, nice so thing. now it's even bigger? I th the play field? No, the explosion. Oh, I, th I think so. Oh, oh, he's very trapped. Perfect. Only open one. Oh, that means it's Oh, timer? yeah, and then the, that's the second button. This is actually really good. Oh, perfect. Oh, it oh. didn't work. No, it sets off both of them, I guess. Uh-oh. Oh, get out of the way. Oh, God. No, just stay out of the... Oh! What are you doing? You're panicking. <laughs> I've just explained this to you. I I don't have perfect oh, control out of console. my controls. What's that? Uh, the, the, the thing, the enemies, they look like a 2600 console. Oh. That was awesome. So you still need to find the door, and there's one more enemy left. So you can trap him with some bombs, and then you wait till he's right beside it. Don't go off screen, because you can't tell. Oh, you got him anyway. <laughs> you want to go around a corner so you can see. Hi, kitty kitty. So just start laying the bombs. Find that door. Find that door. Yeah, digitized music, per pixel play field scrolling. Uh, Multicolored lines, like e everything about this is absolutely astounding. Uh, what Chris has done. And um, it's, they're blowing up. Oh, if you play the second one, then the timer starts going. Oh, there's the door, oh, there's don't bomb it. <laughs> Although I do want to see the attacking 2600 consoles. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, no. no. It's so it, it'll go off whether you press the. I don't seem to have. I don't know what that power thing was, but it does not seem to have been the oh. timer. Oh. Oh. Because, I thought, uh... I thought it sat there for a while. No? Oh, maybe it was the cascading oh, God. bomb effect or something. I'd have to look it up on the Bomberman wiki. Let me look it up. Oh, of course it changes. Let's see what the up, all the upgrades are. Okay. 
Does anybody know what that upgrade was? The heart with the bomb in it? List of items. Go on this page. So many ads. A bomb up, fire up, speed up, remote control. Maybe you lost the ability? Because it was the remote control. Uh, it, it, it seemed like I had the remote control you must initially. Have lost it. Hmm. Maybe you died. I died, but like I didn't seem to lose the other powers when I died. Yeah, those uh, oh. those round guys are fast. Oh my god. <laughs> Not anymore! They're dead. Dow. Minvo? Is that? Yep, they're Minvos. The round guys. Uh, also known as Minbo. They move fast and are orange smiley faces. They will commonly pursue Barberman if he's nearby. They also do get stuck if he's hiding nearby. Ah, because they're trying to get at him. Minvos are quite easy to beat. Just treat them like O'Neils, only have to be quicker in getting out. Oh, trapped. Last guy's trapped. Oh, yeah, yeah that's a good, way, a good place to put it. Because he's still trapped. Oh, no, he's no, not. No, he's not. Perfect timing. Do you know where the door is? No. No? Okay. No, I, I mean... I don't know where it is. <laughs> he game, might know where it is. The game does. I mean, it's it's conceivable that I have found it, but I don't know where it is. Oh. <laughs> Yay! Oh. Don't uh -oh. bomb it. No, I won't get it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh do extra bomb. So you'll have three bombs. Oh, oh. oh nice. Oh, or nice move. Remember, don't get rid of too many walls first. Go after the enemies first. Yeah. And then, because they get trapped. And then go after walls. See, because that guy's very trapped. And he got, he was really stupid and started going after you and went up and down. Oh, got him. Oh, crap. No! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Run! Oh, you got one. Good. Think, yeah. Oh, perfect. They won. Get in the corner. Two and one. And I think oh, cool. you got them all. Pretty sure you got them all. Time for the door hunt and the power up. Extra bomb. Power up. <laughs> Chad is so quiet today. You're just enthralled by the Bomberman experience. <laughs> the boom experience. Maybe they're all just sweltering in the heat. They're too hot to type. Is it hot where you are? Ah. Luckily, it's a little bit cooler today. Otherwise, we'd be in trouble playing these games. It's been really hot here um, past couple days. Looks like it's made for a phone. True, it's vertical. You could play it on your phone. Yeah, this is what Bomberman would look like if uh, you could be played on your phone. Oh, there's the door. Oh. Ah! <laughs> be a cartoon character, get, oh, run directly away from the there's explosion. The Excellent. It's 150 forecast high today in Phoenix. Oh my god. What is 115? Yeah, but Phoenix is in the desert. Yeah. Nobody cares when it's too hot there. <laughs> it's, it's, it's expected. <laughs> 46. Oh, you want me to play? Yeah. This is the bonus level. It's very stressful. <laughs> it's very stressful. It's all this pressure because I um, 
I'm still alive. <laughs> and I should have been dead by now. Oh, I'm not doing very well in this bonus level. Oops. Did I get even one? I don't think I even got one. Uh, it's mid-twenties here. So whenever that translates to... Uh, much, much cooler than Phoenix, but that's to be expected. It's like... Oh my god. Yeah, mid-twenties is... Is fine. Yeah, it's not vastly hotter than 80. Sorry, it's it's not uh, vastly hotter than high 70s, so it might be okay. 80 or something. I don't know what temperature it is outside, but... In here, it's 25. I have the window open, but it does get hot in here because computers are going and lights are going. Studio lights. Oh, perfect. Let's get these guys. Nice. Cleared out that area. I think there was a couple more back here that I bypassed. Yeah, 25 is like 77. Oh, people would be like, Pfft. okay. Yeah, they're laughing at us now. They're like, uh, We're melting and they're all like, Pfft. yeah. They're like, but that's a joke. <laughs> it's like, we don't have air conditioning. That's the problem. Which, no again, houses. you know, it's not the end of the world. Like, it's no. fine. 25 is fine. People have like little portable air conditioners here after last. Actually, oh. think, I don't think it's 25 degrees in here. I think it's higher. Uh, well, right where that thing on the wall is, it's mm. 25. <laughs> it could be hotter where exactly we are. Yeah. See, I messed up because I put chain bombs and I it blew them all up. Of course, I'm not waiting to see if I find anything. Ah! Where? Oh my god. Where are everything? <laughs> I haven't found anything yet. Oh, fine. There's a I still thing. haven't found the door. That was a thing right there. That's a thing. Oh, there's, there's the a door. door. And I, there's uh, the door. It's a dry heat. That is the big difference between Phoenix and here. If it was 46 here, we would probably die. No, 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 no. It's dry here in the summer. We have a dry heat in the summer. In the summer, we have a we have like drought conditions. It's just that it doesn't last very long. Yeah. Yeah, it's dry. Like the ground gets hard as concrete. It does. Like the grass, like it does go lawn, brown. It gets it That's gets true. brown, and like you sit on it, and like you break your knee instead of. But like, it's humid. No, I find it's not humid here in the summer. It's not. No. Mm -hmm. When it's humid here in the summer, that's that's an exception, not the rule. Yeah. Well, when we had the heat dome, it was humid. It's humid here in no. I it was it too humid. hot. No, no, no. It's oh, too hot God. to be humid. It like it dries up real good here when you you want to yeah. see humid. Go to Indianapolis during Gen Con, or at least the one year <laughs> I went there. You step outside and you're instantly wet. Like your whole body just, <laughs> just immediately, immediately inside. It's dry and. You know, air conditioning, you step outside and like Ugh. instantly your fingers, which have been dry all day, are instantly <laughs> damp and wet oh, and gross. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's humid. Yeah, okay. That was brutal. Uh, there's little slimy things that go through walls. I think there's... Some, I think that was the last one though. Have lots of bombs now. There's so many bombs now. Yeah. You have to be careful by putting them in a row mm. because um, one goes off, it'll set all of them off. And if you're running away. Oh, I see. Oh, God. Oh, God. I tried to get around the corner. Splurged. I think I saw an issue. Okay, let me just test this theory out. Okay, so I put a bomb here. Mm -hmm. Let's see how far it goes. Oh, not very far. Did my distance get diminished? No. Hmm. Okay, I think I have one guy more to go. Although, I thought one of the power-ups you said was extended fridge. Yeah, must have lost it. Sometimes you, you lose... No, I've got everything. Okay. Might get below 99 after midnight. Oh, my trap. Made a maze for myself. Oh, I didn't get the power-up here, did I? I haven't seen it yet. That one looked like a big explosion.
No, it's two squares each yeah. way. There it is. There. There's the extra firepower. Oh, it automatically took effect <laughs> to the one that was laid down. So it should be much bigger. Oh, one more bigger. Bang. One more bigger. That is much bigger. That's 50% yeah. bigger. I don't think I want it bigger than that. Sometimes the power-ups you don't want to get, like especially the roller skate, it gets makes you move like you way never too wanna, fast. You never want to upgrade to nuclear. No. <laughs> There's a whole map. Just gone. What was that? It said heart. Hell, what does the heart on a bomb mean? Uh, that is... I thought I could set it off, but it just did it itself. Maybe I can set it off early? Nope. Oh my god. I wasn't able to set it off early. Yeah, that was this the is... thing I kept trying. What? Maybe it's happened? A and B. No. No, it's not working. Well, you don't know that you oh, have it. I don't it. have it yet. It was just on the screen. Stupid. <laughs> but it was a power that, in theory, we got already. Yeah. So, so I'm going to test sure. it out. Oh, my God. It's going to come after me. Oh, my God. Come over here. No. Oh, you bastard. <gasps> I blocked myself eaten in. By, eaten by ball um, thing. Um, 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 um. It's very fast, so it makes it... Very difficult. Nope, oh, my god. But when you run up and down, it really does look like you're panicking. <laughs> <laughs> it has a flailing arms. <laughs> I mean, I'd be panicking if I was in real life in this game. Are they completely walled off? They are. Nice. Oh god, let's not bomb near there. They can't go through there, anyways, can they? Uh, yeah, they can go through a door. Oh, can they? Yeah, unfortunately. That's not right. Oof, God. Get him. Good. Get him good. Oh, my God. Come over here. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Nice. And now you don't want a crossroads. You want to... Get it. Nice. Now I want to find the First power spot. up. Yay! So now I should be able to set it off. Let's go. Yep. But does it go off on its own as well? It shouldn't. That's really good animation. Yeah. It's got three frames, and the little the little wick is going. Oh, it I love eventually. when you can set it off. Oh yeah, yeah. It's so good, especially with guys that just go doo -doo -doo -doo, and they run out of the way. What is that? Is that the roller skates? It looked like a fast bomb. I don't know what that was. Which one? So I should be able to set it off? Yes. Okay, orange guys. Meet your doom. Of course, I don't get it. Come on. You got a power Boom. up already. Oh, oh you hit God. the power up. You don't have power up. You have ghosts. Oh, I want the power up back. Can you get it back? Uh, No, I bombed it. I didn't know you couldn't bomb the power up. <gasps> but it was just the door. Die. Die for that. Die. Die, die, die. Die, die, die. Oh, this being able to set it oh. off is so good. I just can't help but point out how much trouble I would have been in if I had done that. <laughs> you would have been so... The ghost can go through the walls! Oh, no! Okay, ghost, come here. Can you find the power-up again? I think it's gone. Oh. Just like when you die when there's a power-up, it's gone. Oh. Brutal. Oh, I love this. I love this. Do not bomb the door. Okay. Somebody? No? Boom. Ah, I like the look of surprise. Damn it. <laughs> I like the look of surprise oh. out of the bomb's, ball's face when you blow up. He's all like, ah! Just for a second. So good. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a... Do I still have it? Damn it. Oh, no. what, are the, what is the rule for power-ups, then? You lose some of them? I am not sure. Like, you lose certain Maybe ones? Maybe the... Uh-oh. The last Don't one? blow up that door. Damn it. No, I don't want to do that. Ugh. At least I have a pretty... Wrong side uh, of the bomb. One, one life left. Ah... 
game is really, 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 really good. Oh yeah, there's no timer. Boo! Get something! Ooh, nice! Is that it? Nope. Hell, get it now, now. Split it. it. Yep. I think the music changed. Are you gonna find out if you can find the power up? Uh, no, I'm not, because I'm pretty sure that's where it was and it's gone. It wouldn't reposition. Oh, fast. Mm, yeah, I could probably do with a fast upgrade. Wouldn't be too bad. Oh my god, that guy's very fast. Ah, that guy's not. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Ah. Orange guys are trouble. Did I get him? Yep. Um, if you put two, yep. does the first one blow up the wall and the next one shoot past the wall? No. Uh, I don't know. Uh, no, because they all go at once. Yeah. So that means they wouldn't subsequently be able to oh my God, go through. God. It would just be like one big explosion. Like if I do this... You mean? Mm-hmm. It should. Yeah, yeah it's all yeah. at once. Yeah. Just, oh, poor little guy. What are we no, gonna do about that? Nothing. We're gonna do this and then this. <laughs> oh, my plan worked perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> he fell from my trap. I need a door and I need the power up. Which is the roller skates, which makes me go fast, which I, I probably could handle. I mean, this is a good speed, but a little bit faster to deal with the orange guys would be good. Whoa, my, ta my top of my head! <laughs> you don't need your hair. Uh, last man, because that's in reserve, like a good game should be. Zero men in reserve. That's right. Because it doesn't make sense if you have one. And you have not found I the door yet. I didn't, Is that I'm not moving any faster. I think I'm moving faster. Oh. What? Oh, you move through walls <gasps> now. Oh my god, that's so good. Well, it I'll would take be. that. It would be if the monsters couldn't already do it. Some of them can. They all can now. Oh, that's so good. Oh, maybe the round guy can't. I don't know. The round guy can't. Oh, oh. you can put a bomb and then run through the wall yes. and be safe. Yeah. And go, da da da. Oh, the door. Oh, I like running through the walls. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Bonus stage. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god. What the. Pat, what the. What happened? Just. What happened there? Can I? What? I'm invincible. Oh, bombs are being laid. Your bombs bomb, are you're invincible to your own bombs. Yeah, to them? I'm invincible to everything. It's just bomb city time. It's bomb city. Welcome to bomb city. Where your fate is death. I didn't know I'm bonus stage. You're invincible to the bombs and the guys. Oh, Atari. What? No, I was pointing oh. at what does the bomb th symbol mean? Ah, uh, ha, ha. Oh, god damn it. Now I'm going to lose that. Uh, oh, I missed it. It's just an extra bomb. Uh. I think I have four now. Yep, can't go through walls. Oh. <laughs> Boo, yeah. I like that one so I much. I wish I understood the rules on when power ups. Uh... I think you lose, you don't lose the bombs. But you lose... Yep, now I still have long bombs. So, for me, for me, any power-up that goes away is like, I might as well not even collect it. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's going to go away. Yeah. I mean, why get used to a power uh, that you can't count on? Like, it's only <laughs> there. It just superpowers you for, like, one turn. It's great for people that are really good and can stay alive, but I can't. That's true. <laughs> 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 Oop. Ghosties. I had your power, but now I don't. 
I don't remember ever getting that power in Bomberman. Maybe I didn't make it very far. Yes! He's trapped in there. And now you die. And the music changed, and therefore it's say, the end of the level. That means they're all... Uh, they all have expired. Smudged. Expired. Oh, there's the extra bomb. I will always take those. No problems with extra bombs. There we go. After this last life is over, we will finish. Which might be soon. I don't know which level I'm on. I think I've ever... I, I, we haven't seen any new enemies, have we? There was, like, the slimes, there's the ghosts. I think we've seen all the enemies. Oh my god. And, oh, I just got an extra life. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is that you sound a little disappointed by it. Well, no. <laughs> oh no, you did. <laughs> I did. You might not have been disappointed, but you oh, sounded a little disappointed. Oh, I got an extra life. Ah, uh, run. Oh my god. I'm taking risks. All these things, I can go through the walls. That's what I said. That's what I was saying. It's like, yeah, it's great, but Cheating like, it seemed like said. it seemed like they could, but not all of them could. You were right. Like the, the ghosts in the, the slime. The circle guy can't. No, he's... Yeah. His superpower is... Fabulous. It's like the old mobs don't learn new mob tricks. They, <laughs> they just right. become the no longer superpower mobs. Oh. There are doors there. Did you already find the power-up? No. no. Not on this one. You did die. I did die. Oh my god, awesome game. Well, those cats Great both... game, Chris. Grass. Yeah, yeah. Really, really good implementation of Bomberman. I can't think of a way to make it better. I mean, there are do high score. There are limitations on how cool you can make it and how wide you can make it. Like, there's a trade-off. Yeah. And yep. the width is fine. It's completely playable. It's just you can't see it, the extra stuff. But yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. I don't think it impinges on your on the playability of it. It's worth it to have everything else working as great as it does. Yeah. If that's the cost, that it's a little narrower. It's Excellent yeah. trade-off. Yeah. I love this. Um, screen we're putting in your name. <laughs> you blow it up. And you're invincible here, too. Zero. Page. Homebrew. Enter. Huh? No! Where's the enter? Did I miss it? Oh, right at the top. Check mark. First place out of all the zeros. And last. <laughs> and last. <laughs> what? That's the that's the, the most last recent game. most recent score. Yes. <laughs> I got first and last. That would be a uh, list of one. Oh my god, what an awesome awesome game! Um, you can download that right now in the Atari Age forums. That exact version. Um, so that is the end of the games in our normal show. We're gonna do an after dark playing every single Atari game from 1980 right after this. But first, we're going to take a look at what's coming up. And we have some cool things. Let's see. That's what we did today. Like I said, Tuesday, we have the exclusive world premiere of two Jaguar games, Chaos Engine and Gods. They're ports of uh, Atari ST games. Um, coming soon... We're going to be at Portland Retro Gaming Expo, October 14th to 16th. Uh, that's three days. Um, and we're going to have, after that, Atari Age Day 2022 Fall Edition. So we already ah. did it this year. We're going to be playing and talking to the developers of all the games that came out, that are going to come out in the fall. Because they're not out yet. <laughs> Great normal show! <laughs> <laughs> That's a very strange phrase. Yes. 
as opposed to after great dark. and normal <laughs> yes great after dark show i'm guessing uh, before dark show yes <laughs> before dark they're both before dark really yeah, they are it's summertime. not really it's, it's dark somewhere after dark, dark after dark is also after my bedtime <laughs> it's dark in europe yeah. uh we're also having that's exclusive true. world premiere of jalaga coming up that's on the jaguar it's a galaga uh, type port clone ish we'll see how it ends up it looks awesome i can't wait to play it oh my god there's been some video put out of it uh elevator agent i think that's going to come really soon uh exclusive world premiere from champ games of that champ games secret homebrew probably late fall for that one load runner 2600 that'll be before portland retro gaming expo so that'll be coming up pretty soon as well uh uno plus cart special that's probably coming up pretty soon in the next couple of weeks i would think um because i think most things are in place for that uh, live interview with Hold Old Style. Don't know when that'll be. Uh, developer Spotlight with Todd Fermanski and Chris Walton, whose game we just played. Uh, um, uh, boom. Uh, so tons of cool things coming up on the stream. And of course, we are going to be doing day two of the Atari 2600 45th anniversary classic gaming countdown, playing every single Atari 2600 game put out during the normal run from 1977. To 1992, it ran. The 2600 went for a long time. Yeah, it's about 450 to 500 games that were put out. Wow! And we're gonna chip away at them about 20 or so at a time. 500. <laughs> wow! Yeah, that's a lot. Not as many as modern, but no, but yeah, yeah. but it's a lot. It's a lot. What damn Twitch notifications? Oh, you missed it. You'll have to rewind. Sad crying phase. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin the Martian? <laughs> He's also crying. Okay, uh, I see. Yeah, very subtle tears in Marvin the Martian there. Um, and then probably this weekend or early next week, we'll move on to 1981, which also can be done in one day as well. I missed the first night. Oh, well, you can watch it on YouTube now. It's been posted on YouTube. Um, yeah, 18 titles from 1980 with six of them from Activision because Activision, the first ever third-party game company, started up in 1980. So we'll That's be playing awesome. uh, six of those games momentarily. So if you're watching live, don't switch away. We're going to go on a very short break and then come back with After Dark playing the um, 45th anniversary countdown. Um, there's some really good games in there, starting with Space Invaders which really sold the 2600s. That was yeah, the, I can imagine, yeah. That was the killer app that kind of kick-started the big 2600 boom because Space Invaders was just a massive hit in the arcades. And they're like, what, we can play it at home? Buy that immediately. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us. Remember, if you're watching live, don't click away. Stay tuned. We'll be playing more games. Thanks for hanging out with us. Vitoko, Charles Reese, Dan, ABC Ground Trooper, Dave M, uh, RC7E, Thrust, Nostalgic, uh, Vitoko, did I say that? Ferial Gaming, who chatted for the first time today. Lambda Express, thank you for uh, uh, making that awesome laser game. Very, very yep. cool. Uh, Ivory Tower Collections, uh, Mike Latow, Al Nefer, Halloween Jack 2021, Ozure Rapper 2600, El Camara, thank you, Leandro, for letting us play your awesome new game. It's a lot of fun playing it. Uh, Tamericans, uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Feline Frequencies, Meaty Met Spag, uh, Terra Kasai. Victor M. Uh, anybody else? Splendid Nut. And that's it in the chat. Uh, oh, El Camaro says, Thanks again, James, Darcy, and Zero Page Homebrew. Really enjoyed watching you play Orbital War. Thanks everyone uh, to everyone else who watched the show and participated in the chat. Hope you enjoyed the game. Great show. Cafe Man 2D napped through this one. So. I hope Americans <laughs> saw Treat Time at least once. Yep. There were two Treat Times. There were two Treat Times. So uh, stay tuned. Oh, we're, we're small right now. Sorry about that. Stay tuned. Sorry for being so small. Yeah, we're very small. <laughs> Don't squish us. We will take a 10-minute break. 
and then we'll sure. be back and play all these games. Just those ones? From 1980. I think I'm missing like three cartridges ah. from then. Um, and uh, so Dan's going to be here. So stay tuned. Don't click away. If you're watching this on YouTube, just watch the next video on the Zero Page uh, YouTube page. Uh, so we'll see you in a very short bit. Bye-bye!